And now we have the moment everyone's been waiting for, the results for M-O-N-M-H-13 Amazing Figure Model. Now, this category is not like one you specifically enter. This is one that is like an overall arcing contest type of category. So that means that we have taken the best female figures, actually all female figures, from M-O-N-M-H-1 out of the box, all the way up to M-O-N-M-H-12 busts. So we have actually six female figure models by five contestants. So the contestants are Jonathan Reich, George Ganser, Ross Waddle, Paul and Salmos, Kendall Conniff. These are, are the five builders that entered into M-O-N-M-H-13, or were selected for it, however that goes. So, Floyd, are you ready to check out these amazing models? I've been waiting for this moment for all of my life, man. All right, let's get on with it. But first, let's see what the female figures are and who entered them. Jonathan's first model kit is entered in M-O-N-M-H-1 out of the box. This is Little Red Riding Hood and her nemesis, The Wolf, as you haven't seen them before. I believe I purchased this kit from Fantasy Realms, but I'm not sure. This is an awesome take on the old story. Paul's second entry is also entered in M-O-N-M-H-1 out of the box. This is Vicky in 1-6 scale by Tweeterhead. A resin box art tribute kit to the Aurora monster scenes, The Victim. Basic flesh tones airbrushed in acrylics. Makeup and sun effects with pans pastels. The rest hand brushed in acrylics. The first entry by Kendall Conniff is in MO1 MH2 Concepts and One of a Kinds. Pestilence Labs Aurora Witch Tribute Kit. Cauldron modified and LEDs added for fire effect. Extra scratch built add-ons include the shelf, the books, the twisted bottle, the mortar and pestle, and the toadstool. I added the extra bottles with bones and witches potions with Photoshop labels, the dried plants and the cedar plank for the frog. I lost the kit hooks, so I hammered new ones out of copper wire. Ross's next entry is of the Mobius Wonder Woman built to enter into the category M-O-N-M-H-11 Heroes and Superheroes. The kit is a repop of the 1960s Aurora model. Like the original, this version does not include a piece to complete the lightning flash around the head of the octopus, so I made one out of thin styrene. I also added splashing water effects. I airbrushed this with golden fluid acrylic paints and used white vinyl stars for her trunks. George's first entry is Lucy for M-O-N-M-H-12. This is a bust of Lucy the Vampire from Bram Stoker's Dracula. The bust is one quarter scale and was digitally sculpted by Daniel Danko Angelosi and produced by Sol Alvarez at Silver Screen Icons. I used a combination of acrylics, metallics, and enamels to bring her to life. George's second entry is also for M-O-N-M-H-12 busts. This is Maria from Metropolis. This is a one-half scale bust diorama of the Maria robot and false Maria figure from Metropolis and was digitally sculpted by Danielle Danko Angelosi and produced by George Stevenson at Black Heart Models. The base, backdrop, and reaching hands were all scratch built. I used Vallejo metal, or metal color acrylics for all the metallic surfaces. The second photo shows a lighting feature that highlights both the small figure and the larger bust. And weren't those models amazing? Amazing female figures. Yes, of course. So in this category, there can only be one winner. And that one winner 
will win this amazing book called Vamps, just like in the original introduction to the Build a Monster Contest video. I did mention this book. So, who is going to be the lucky one that won it? Whose model building talents were the best? Well, to find out, let's say, Hey Floyd, hand me that envelope! And here we are with the envelope, with the final winders. Now, since only one person can win this book, there is only actually one winner. So there isn't really the gold, silver, and bronze. However, I still kind of wrote it out that way. So we will read it that way, but just know that only the gold will win. So we're going to go in reverse this time. There are three honorable mentions and three, well, contestants that would have been bronze, silver, and gold. So we're going to do this in reverse. So, blah, 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 blah. honorable mention. First one is Wonder Woman by Ross Wendell. Blah, 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 blah. Second honorable mention is Maria by George Ganser. Oh, blah, 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 blah. The third honorable mention is Little Red Riding Hood by Jonathan Reich. Blah, 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 blah. And in third place for the bronze would be The Victim by Paul Anselmos. So now you won't get a certificate for this. It's only one certificate and one prize. But anyway, that's the standing so far. So then in silver, brah, we have Lucy by George Ganser. And in our final first place for the big gold, we have The Witch by Kendall Conniff. So Kendall, you have won yourself the Special Category Award, and the Vamps book. So I really hope you enjoy this, and I want to say a big thank you for all the contestants for this year. Next year, I know we can make it better. There will be a new theme announced later on in 2023, maybe around April, maybe March or something. I don't know. Stay tuned to this channel to find out. So until next time, everybody, Happy model building, and we'll see you in the next Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest. Good night, everybody, and thank you for joining us in this wondrous event.